like to play a game of chess. I play very well. She's looking for a sponsor like Nike or Converse. She ran into a monster like Scarface and Nino. I'm James with the bong for the money. I'm Al Pacino. I know I'm living wrong, but I'm cashing out like Casino. I'm Michael Jackson, you Tito. Got your bitch stroking my ego. Hit it like a free throw when I'm smoking on his lethal. No, this money don't make itself. I gotta, gotta make this money. Yes, I'm looking to the sky. Got my feet to the ground. I am rolling up a pound. Smoking, smoking, smoking now. Yes, there's money on my mind. Tell these rats don't make a sound if you squeal it's going down automatic rounds when we come to paint the town <laughs> yeah i know these niggas jealous i can feel it that they envy but i pray for they soul because we all don't grow old yes you reap what you sow got my eye on the go put these bitches on hold getting money to go members only jacket got me feeling so pro i am all on my toes and if you know like i know it's money over bitches, bitches. it's cage you bitches Welcome back, everybody, to the official Wookiesburg League cast. Not to com- be confused with the podcast. Yep, we're the league, not the pod. Exactly. You yep. know, this is the must watch. Must watch. Must watch. Must. M U S T. Elon must watch this shit. Yes, yes. And as always, it's your boy. Maticals, uh huh, aka the longer I'm away, the sooner I'll be back, mm-hmm. aka the comeback kid, mm-hmm. aka thug dog, and last but not least, our good final good one is my face is her seat. <laughs> yeah, and over here it's your boy, uh, the OG, the one and only Lolo Boss, aka Slim Jimmy. The Munchin' Slunchin', and of course, good old Argentina Jack. And uh, happy to be back. Argentina Jack, baby. Perfect. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> yes, and you know, it's, uh, you know, and, and when you when you combine a comeback kid and an Argentina Jack, you can, you form Wookiee's Bird. Yes. Which is everywhere. Yeah. On Instagram, on YouTube, on Discord, on Twitter, all your podcast apps, and then some. Every single goddamn one of them, you're going to find us on at Wookiesburg. W-O-O-K-I-E-S-B-U-R-G-S, Wookiesburg. Yes. And, um, yeah, and don't forget to hit us up on Anchor as well, anchor.fm. Yeah, don't forget we haven't, we, haven't got, I we haven't got any supporters, and don't forget if you support us over there, then you are eligible to win, you know, fabulous yeah. prizes. We have many, many numerous things like, uh, you know, many uh, numerous, signed, many signed, numerous, many numerous, many numerous, many n- a lot, many numerous, a lot, many numerous, num- numbre things, you know, everywhere for for you guys, and all you got to do is. Yeah. You know, we have some autograph stuff. We have some, uh, you know, we we have some. We actually have a new, new incoming item, uh, dolphins double A batteries. So if you if okay, you, and just like the dolphins, they keep on going. Exactly. So don't forget to sub, you know support us over there on Anchor. Yeah, you have hit us up there, and uh, when you get on Anchor, you're gonna be able to uh, find us on any. Uh, podcast platform like we said earlier Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google all that good shit um, and right here on YouTube if you're watching us on YouTube right here on YouTube we are also uh, have polls on YouTube go to our page and go to our posts um, and if you're subscribed which you should be uh, you'll see the poll on your subscriptions tab in YouTube you gotta click subscriptions down at the bottom and we have polls up where you can pick what segment we shoot next on the podcast we're going to do a short video segment uh challenges uh themed videos stuff like that and we have our first poll up right now it just went live right before this show um and you get to decide what we should do next and we have two crazy good options there so go and vote uh when we close the voting whatever uh all the subscribers pick 
uh, that's what we're going to film next, and that's what we're going to do next. There's a couple yes. challenges up for us. Yes, and I know we a lot of a lot of thought and, and work went into those, so uh, yes. make sure you get, get out there and yeah. vote. And this week, you can vote for Matt and Lolo to do a hot sauce challenge or a spliff rolling competition. What will we do? You decide. Vote 2022. Vote Wookiesburg. Hashtag Wookiesburg. Yes. The only vote that matters. Sadly. You might you may be right. You may be right. I'm sad. <laughs> yes. And All right. I like it. I like it. Getting right into our uh updates which are you know not not changing too much besides uh we're you know for those of you out there i guess you know there's still a couple of you complainers you know i i i maybe Ooh. just i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kid, throw anybody under the bus Fuck or that. whatever but there's still some complainers that you know they can't ever get around to watching the podcast so we're gonna try to get all the important shit within the first 10 to 15 minutes so you know after these couple updates with all you slap dicks that haven't paid yet Get to yeah. paying, and yeah. Waffle House challenge for last place. We're gonna yeah. figure out the details for These that. These people complaining about this shit haven't paid for the league yet, so yeah, yeah. Who's the so, real slap? Dick? Exactly. So it's like, bro. It's like I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busier than most people in the league, mo- and you know, a lot of people out there ever. And I listen to 15 podcasts a day, including my own. Which, That's why he's so busy. So many podcasts. Yeah. So and, you can yeah. listen while doing other things. I guess no, my, not many people know how to multitask. I can't even task. Exactly. Let so, alone multitask. That's why you usually hire Task Rap. Yes. So, uh, Fab next year, and then that's it. That's it for the league update. Yeah. Still don't know what that is, but cool. Fabula- fabulous. Fabulous. Yep. And uh, we're going to start including the bonuses, like I said, within the first 10 to 15 minutes. So that's there is no more excuses. So after this episode, I am going to run down a quick list of the special bonuses because obviously you can go and tell if you won a high-scoring bonus just by simply checking the week. So this thus far, so... The, uh, uh, <laughs> Tuskegee, what the fuck is you... So, the, such far this season are special bonuses that we pull from the Wookiesburg bonus sheet. Going in order, week one would be Chuck, largest margin of victory, $10. Week two is me with the lowest score, $10. Week three is Sean with the least rushing yards, $10. Week four... We had a special bonus, which was the first trade being completed in my league, which is split between Michael and Terry, $5 each. Then we have week five as most points by the quarterback, Jordan, $10. Week six, me, most rushing yards by your running backs, $10. Week seven, house single scoring player in their lineup, highest. And week eight is Uh, Another tie, actually. Bonus time, motherfuckers. Last week was uh, Michael and Chuck with the lowest wide receiver in their lineup, and Mm -hmm. they both had big fat zeros from their receivers. So, hey, sometimes it pays when your guys... It pays to be sleep. Fucking sleep. We've been saying it for years. It pays to be sleep. So, those those are your first week... Your your you know your top uh first eight weeks bonuses so there's no more excuses. I'm gonna let you know right now up to this point whatever timestamp this is. You watch it. Matter of fact, I'm not supposed to look at it, but I'm gonna tell you right now just so I know for a fact in my I can post it because I'm gonna also post it everywhere so you guys know there's no more excuses. You need to watch the first eleven minutes. Of this podcast for any bonuses, and then the first 11 minutes of every other podcast from here on out if you want to claim your bonus. 
Yeah. So that's all I ask of, of you pieces of shit that think you can't watch the whole podcast. Which I should just be kicking you the fuck out of the league. But we'll, you know, we'll get to that later. So does anybody know where the bonus hat is? Uh, the bonus hat, I believe, is at a back-breakingly low angle, which I will attempt to get right now. That's the, all right, and while he does that, last week's bonus for the highest score, I would assume... I actually don't know who it was last week. Was it me? Oh, we know Shaggy. Girl, you're my angel. Oh, this is insane. Last week's highest scoring bonus goes to Braulio. Edging out Casey of a score 181.88 to 181.85. Right. And right now I'm going into the hat to reach out week nine's special bonus. Oh, and we have the same number as last week. So I believe I'm going to throw it back in and repick. What was the number last week? 24. Okay. We have a lot of numbers, so I I think that is agreeable. And if not, remember, it's a Matt Tater shit, motherfuckers. And we have number 15. We have had that before, but it's not consecutive, so we'll ride with it. We'll ride with it. 15. Number 15 will go to the bonus list, of course, which is never ready as usual. And while we bring up the bonus list, let me just say that uh, we are going to bring up the bonus list right now. Momentarily. And we said 15. We know we've had this one the before. Big one and this five. one is the least starting running backs from all your combined starters. Least running <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say, bro? What? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to leave that in there for you guys. So, the real bonus is That's an excuse to the not least edit. rushing yards by all your starting running backs. Okay. Not the least starting running backs by all your starting running backs. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right. So, wow. The I least am. rushing yards by your starting running backs. Yes. Very good. All right. So, I look forward to see who's going to get this one. That boy. That brings us into our trade talk where, uh, you know, we've actually been, you know, getting a couple trades to fly here and there. What's been going on lately in this uh, trade league? Yeah, we've had, uh, I know Casey, Casey shot down a trade I offered him for uh, Christian McCaffrey, which many is, which to many is known as uh, the league winner. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the guy that will win you leagues. Bet. And all I simply requested from him was Tua, Raheem Mostert, and Sammy Watkins. Mm-hmm. And his reply, which you'll see in the chat, is, "Uh, I would have done it for just Sammy Watkins. I mean, for just Tua and Mostert, but Sammy Watkins was the deal breaker. Wow. I just couldn't part with him. So I, uh, I'm going to make sure Casey learns to regret that for the rest of his uh, fantasy career. Yeah, we'll see the Especially implications. Especially this season. Yes, we will. Yeah. Luckily, he he skates by with a win this week. Mm-hmm. But we'll see how far it takes him. It's been pretty far so far. That dude is uh, up there. Yes, he is. He is. Did you peep any of the trades? Yes, I did. I saw that Tyreek Hill and Hunter Henry were traded. Yeah. For Damon Pierce, Brandon Ayuk, and some other dude. Yep. Now is another one where, uh, yeah, they could have had Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. They just, but uh, they just didn't want him, huh? Yep. Injury concerns, man. Injury concerns. Hey, I told you once. I'll tell you again. 
you take an injury injury prone and you know let me put it this in for those of you listening in quotations because he's not actually injury prone but you put an injury prone player on an injury prone running back team two negatives equal a positive boom done data I, I see your logic there and mathematically speaking you're not wrong exactly so and fantasy football is all about mathematics it is. It really is just geometry when you get all down to it, really. And just with a, t- with a touch of chemistry. Yeah. Should we get into these matchups? Uh, I think or we should. Or right before matchups, I think we have. Yes. Is there any Mike McDaniel's big nuts of the, in a real barrel awards this week? Um, This is when we highlight players who have big old nuts. Players or people? Or people, right. Um, The one dude that cussed out his coach on the sideline probably got some big-ass nuts. Okay, okay. What about somebody who tells somebody to put somebody in their lineup? Yes. Uh, I think you have the big nuts in the wheelbarrow award for telling me to start Tony Pollard this week. And uh, even though I lost. Wait, you ended up losing? I lost this week, yes, in my league, in the league I'm in. Who did you, wait, how did you lose? I lost because I had Joe Mixon on Monday night, but they had, uh... Nick Chubb? Me and someone else and a receiver, I forget who. Um... It had to have been Nick Chubb. Tyler Boyd or T. Higgins or somebody. And uh, Nick Chubb, yeah. And they lost. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. I did not know that. I thought. But I made a trade also, so I think we're all good and looking for the future. Yes, yes. Well, a bunch of trades flew over there, too. It yeah. is a... Uh... I managed to acquire A.J. Brown. I know. I seen that after his uh, Beast game. Yes. And, you know, trades are just a flying everywhere. So hopefully yes. they'll continue. Yes, 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 yes. I'm really excited uh, for making an in-season trade like this. I think A.J. Brown's going to help me out a lot. Um, I gave up Devontae Adams for him. Hey, that's fine. Speaking... Speaking of Devontae Adams and matchups, we could just start it off with Brett's bust of the week and my matchup of the week, and that is Devontae Adams. Yes. With his 1.2 points. That's a bust if I've ever seen one. That's a bust. Yes, yes. Even though I did, you know, all, all is fair in love and fantasy, and I did say, hey, Devontae, you know, uh, we're going to climb back next week. This mm-hmm. week, we need to lose so that uh, YOLO DOLO fuck it shots can climb back. Right. So now we're both sitting with two wins, only two games behind uh, fourth place. And, hey, comeback season, let's ride. Comeback season, let's ride. And, uh, boy, it's going to have to be a hell of a comeback. I mean, essentially, yes. Essentially, yeah. But like I said, you know, only... In other words, yes. Only two games behind fourth, and I play that person this week. So as I keep saying, this week determines it all. So it's this week, do or die? Yeah. And, uh, the, you know, this week I'm definitely going to make sure I... Play the SmackDown? Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, Let's fucking go, man. We got to fucking put our heads in the game. We got to come out this week and smash him right in the mouth. Hit him head on. It's easy. It's easy. It's going to be Hit easy. Hit him right in the nose. It's going to be easy this week. You know, we'll, uh, we'll get into that when we get into the weekly preview. But, you know, last week I gave Terry the win and we'll move right on. And that brings us to a couple name changes. We did have uh, finally, finally, finally. (laughs) Tip your glass, just like soon to be Eagles. We did have the, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, yeah. Where's the competition? Jordan has achieved his first loss. And what I think might be the lowest scoring game of any team all season. And uh, un- 
which without having anyone with zero points on your starting squad. Exactly. So you know, it's he had a lot. You know, he had Josh Allen back and lost, and uh, Super Gremlin featuring MVP had to give a little name change to this and said, "Welcome to the competition, kiddo." Oh yes. I had yes, to remind yes, yes. him, like, hey, I may be a slab dick in the past few years, but what I come hard when needed. Yeah, and you know, speaking I'm, of yeah, when you when you come hard when you come hard at the rest of the league asking for competition, well, that's just what you got right there. Some stiff, hard competition. Yes, and like I said, I'm gonna have to get it vetted, but I believe that might be the lowest scoring in my league all year. Lowest scoring record, maybe. Yep. And he got 21 points from his defense. Insane in the membrane. Bing, bing, bing. All right, that brings us to our next matchup. That's going to be Garbo Squad, which is garbage as fuck, versus Revenge of the PT Bruisers. Um, and it went just how you thought it would be. Revenge of the PT Bruisers took this matchup. And uh, are you jealous because they have Tua? Yes, very. Yeah, yes, and Tyreek. KC is a piece of dog shit and traded him to a instead of to me for Christian McCaffrey. And he just traded for Tyreek. Who? And he just got Tyreek, right? No, he's he had Tyreek. He just traded away Tyreek. Oh, I'm sleep as fuck. Yes. Sleep up. He's sleep as fuck. Um, yes. And you see that Tony, Tony Pollard, Pollard, 40 points. Yes. Won't get that again, but hey, his team his team rode for a little while and they rode this week to victory. Yes. Congratulations, Hell you're four yeah. and four. And that twelve picks, one cup versus patches, oh hula hand, one guy who watches the podcast and one guy who doesn't. And there was a close matchup of the week. Game. Close. This also is my Brett's bust of the week. That's going to be Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews has busted a couple weeks in a row now. Injury or not, it is a bust. And boy, did he bust for 12 picks, one cup. He could have used a few more points as they uh, lost by less than two points to Patches O'Houlihan. Yes, and we see very, very close game. And that boy Patches did us a favor. Uh, yeah, so the only thing worse than getting six points from your starting quarterback is getting 0. 0.9 points from your starting quarterback, and somehow Patches O'Hulahan still managed to squeeze out the win uh, having David Carr. Yes, uh, De- Derek Carr, not I David. I said David Carr again. Yes, you. he must Derek haunt your Carr. dreams. And yeah, Derek Carr, shout out, you know, shout out to Casey, because Christian McCaffrey if you took away all his points and just included his quarterback points for the week, he would have beat Derek Carr. Wow. So, he that boy on his LT shit. LT, he, he, baby! Which brings us to our last and final matchup and a lot of people's favorites because this is also our down-to-wire moment. And it was... This boy, Booty Berg, Booty Berg, versus that boy, House. Who, you know, House was uh, probably, maybe, Mm. definitely not scared. At all. At all. Because, you know, Chuck tried to say, that boy got lucky. And it's like, really, was it luck? Or would it have been lucky if, Joe Burrow ended the game with the two points he had the whole time. Yeah. No. It's, you know, this that's how it should have played out. Joe Burrow should have ended with around 20 points like he did. You know, it may have came in garbage time. But, yes, this boy, Housey, put the league and the team on his back. And we see right here very simple little, just like he wishes – FSU was number one. He did make a drastic leap. And also, too, showed Jordan, I'm the competition, bitch. I am the competition. He took advantage of Jordan losing this week and 
propel himself into first place with this win. Yes, and as you see, it was a he was behind Jordan by this about is the action we've been fucking waiting for. Exactly, he was behind Jordan by sixty points. Sixty and took and in that one shit. week from one loss. Just jumped in, and as we see, I believe that I believe that little flag is like means sharks in the water, right? Don't I swim. believe that flag means hurricane. Hurricane. It's hurricane week for FSU, baby. Oh. Actually, I'm not entirely sure of that. No, it is. They oh, okay. they definitely play. They play this week. Okay, sure. So yeah, so uh, as uh, as FSU House will also probably lose this week then, since that's what he's going for. So it's a uh, that's the hurricane flag, and that's definitely FSU sushi stick. And that one is no, for him. What? That it, one is for him probably because it is his first time ever in the Wookiesburg and pre Wookiesburg era in any Matt Tatership that he is at number one on any given week. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, so if, if anybody deserves to be here. It is him, not you, You've Jordan. You've earned it, bud. Not you, Jordan. Fuck you. Damn. As Casey. Tell us how you feel. Oh, it's easy. Tell us how you feel, bud. It's dog. easy. Easy, easy money. <clears throat> Guaranteed he's not watching. Casey may watch here and there, but uh, Casey, you've never won a playoff game in my league. In case you were wondering, and you're definitely not going to win one this year. Definitely not. Anyway. As will Jordan not either. Yeah. House now has the longest win streak in the league at five games. Five games in a row. So, let's uh, let's see. House, let's see what happens, baby. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, well. Might as well not waste any mother fucking time and just get right into our upset of the week. week, 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 week. And it was... always starts with your boy. With your boy Cacarella. Lambo Calrissian. Taking on that boy, 12 picks, one cup, picks, and one eight. Cup. It's simple, all right? Him and George, they tried to give me a, a ring that they called the championship ring. Come to find out, that motherfucker was voodoo. They tr- they did voodoo on you? They voodoo my Holy shit. So, yeah, I was... That uh, explains a lot. Yeah, and I did my ritual. I buried that bitch. You know, I, I did Dundada. With the father, the son, and the Holy Hangaga, Spirit, Bala Bay, Bala that Boo. That gone. Yeah, you know. What P2 about you? Right there. Fucking out. Yes. And, and I got my win. You know, I I uh, I beat Chuck. I believed in you. Oh, I beat Chuck. We 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 took him down. We came back. I gave yes. Terry her win that she needed. Count she's, Chuck, you She's Voodoo Queen, so she there was no way I could. Yes. That the Voodoo Ring couldn't leave. The, the power of the Voodoo Ring wasn't going to be enough. You for buried her that, that shit week, in Mordor so. like fucking yeah, Frodo. So, but from here on out, hey, I played Chris in in this league and Thug Dog League. Yes. Too much needed wins, and I'm about to get too much needed victories. All right. Yeah. Bet money. They, you know, I bet. Thought, I thought it was because I couldn't talk shit, but it was just because of that fucking ring y'all tried to get me with. Y'all thought? Y'all we thought, thought wrong. We thought, we thought, we thought, we thought, we thought. So, hey, don't forget, Thug Dog Champ, let's ride. Let's ride. So this week it's going to be. Look, in case you didn't see my, my amazing dolphin tattoo. Oh, wow. Listening. This week it's going to be Lambo Calrissian versus 12 picks, one cup. Who you picking? That's me, baby. Lambo. I just told you that's my fucking upset, baby. Upset of the season. Get with it, get lost. Get with it, get lost, go bigger, go home. Get with it or get without it. Yep. And the next matchup of the week, we have YOLO Dolo Fuck It Shots. Versus, welcome to the competition, kiddo. 
Hey, and this one's easy. You know, she's about to put John back in his place and take her rightful place. Comeback season, let's ride is real for Yolo Dolo Fucker Shots as well. Pick to win. Let's ride. Let's ride. The next matchup, we got Garbo Squad. Garbo Squad versus Booty Bird. Booty Bird. And uh, yeah, Garbo Squad really is hot garbage. Um, there really is no, there is no decision to be made here. I think it's gonna be Booty Bird. And uh, Booty Berg ninth place, three wins, and uh, nah, this is easy. Garbo Squad pick to win. They're gonna come and get my back. The real booty. Because listen, that that picture, I don't remember who it was, but Garbo Squad. Not only has he jerked off to that that picture and that scene multiple times, he knows he knows that shit left and right. So yes. he is going to take that booty berg and make it his own. Mm, he's gonna get in that booty berg. Yes, and I do like. Where's the competition? Versus revenge of the PT Bruisers. To definitely bounce back in this matchup. All right. So you think where's the competition is going to have more competition? Yeah, he's definitely going to, you know. (laughs) uh, Josh Allen plays the Jets. He's going to remind them that he's their bitches. He's going to spank them. Divisional rivalry. He's going to spank them. Divisional rivalry. And it will be beautiful. Yes. Our next matchup is going to be... Shitting the bed. Versus... FSU number one. And this is easy because my Battle guy, of the seven and one. Sorry. There you yes, go. battle of one and three. And this Ooh, is easy because my guy, my guy House has said he's taking his rightful place in the air. Yes. And I will just never pick Casey to win another game ever because he does not know how to play fantasy football. House is trying to be atop of that AP poll, and boy, is he there right now. So I have to say I'm with you there. I think House, he's on a roll right now. Five wins in a row, like we said. Let's make it six, baby. And our last matchup is Patches O'Houlihan versus Pink Venom. Okay. And this is another one where a... My guy will sit comfortably for a second while he knocks down somebody to make me move up. And mm. Patches O'Houlihan is definitely going to take out the slapdick McArdle of the crew. Yes. And, uh, hey, you put it, yeah, slapdick McArdle. <laughs> Damn, hit it. Yeah. That does it for. The matchups of week nine, you know, no dynasty news as usual. And that just means we are about to be out of this motherfucker. So don't forget to subscribe. Tell your fucking friends to subscribe. We're going to be getting hot and heavy with these giveaways pretty soon. I don't know if I mentioned it, you know, grab a. Dolphins lighters, Jesus Christ, Ooh. people! So, Wookiesburg on all platforms. All platforms, Wookiesburg. Oh. Before we go, hit me with a unlimited, unlimited. <laughs> oh yeah! All right, Wookiesburg on all platforms, everywhere, and uh, you can support us at Anchor. Don't forget. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Anchor. Everywhere. Follow and subscribe everywhere. Everywhere. Shout out Skatebird Brew. We out. Yes.